Hey guys, so just a few days back, Google revealed the first ever developer preview of Android P for Pixel and Pixel 2 smartphones. And total, there are going to be five developer previews before the final release. So Google is taking feedback from users. What are the features they are not liking in the Android P? And what are the features they want to be added with the next developer previews so in this video i'm gonna point out a few features that i really hate about android p and the features that google should change or add with the next release of android 9.0 p and if you have any wish list don't forget to comment down below all right so first off the clock on the top left corner should move back to its original place and that is rightmost corner I mean the left side is for notifications and let it remain for the notifications only and after a wide notch all you will see is a clock and half baked notifications and I am using the android from more than 7-8 years as long as I remember the clock has always been to the right so google we are used to it next thing google should change in android p is the look of quick setting tiles I mean come on google why? Just why are you copying other brands and other themes? We want a pure stock Android experience. We want old quick setting tiles back with new colors. Here's a new concept that a Redditor made and this is what we actually want with the final Android P. And the concept really, really looks great. Alright, so next thing I want Google to add is more volume settings to the volume rocker menu. I mean, as of now, you can only control the media volume and if you get any calls or notifications, then only Android P will show two options, media and notifications. I want Google to show all three options right away as soon as we click the volume rockers. Next feature is the dark theme or night mode. They should at least provide an option to enable the dark theme and that dark theme should eventually turn everything to dark grey including the applications, including the interface and pop-up menus. Next thing that Google should add with Android P is the custom overlays like Substratum. I mean it's a great option to customize and add cool features, cool themes to your smartphones. But with Android P, Google is blocking the custom overlays. So that should change with the next Android release. Also what I think is it's time to push the limits of the animations. Google have to make animations more faster in order to beat iOS. Let's look at the Oxygen OS from OnePlus. The animations in that custom UI are damn faster. I mean if they want to beat iOS in terms of speed, they have to do it. They have to make animations more smooth and more faster. Another change we want is the new icons. I think it's finally time to push a new look. The current icons are definitely boring. Most of the system icons are blue which can confuse anyone. They should change the icons and make them more colorful and attractive. Last but not least, I want Google to finally add full screen gestures for those who want to get rid of those navigation keys and want to use iPhone 10 like gestures. So these are a few wish lists for the next Android P developer preview. That is the second developer preview and don't forget to comment yours. Maybe I will pick a few of them and we will discuss it on my next wish list video. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to like, subscribe and peace out.